a week ago it was 2,000 a day. Now it's 4,000. Streaming across the border to flee fighting and starvation back home. There's no fighting here in northern Uganda, but then there's little else either. Grace Chola says she and her five children are starving. We have no water here. It's rocky. We only eat beans. The ration, we use it to trade for other needs. But it has been a month now since we received any. Relief efforts are simply overwhelmed. The UN had expected around 300,000 refugees to come into Uganda throughout 2017. Almost half that number has come through in less than a month. Mvipi is one of the newest settlements here. Set up barely three weeks ago, it's already full beyond capacity. Rations have been cut. Children are showing signs of malnutrition. Tensions with the local community are rising. Uganda already has done far more than any other nation to help. But it's taking the strain, and almost a third of its own population faces food shortages. To, to settle refugees in these areas, you also have to figure out how to help the host communities, because that will encourage peaceful coexistence between the refugees and the citizens in that area. If you only continue assisting refugees, then the host communities will begin to feel jealousy. The UN is seeking around $560 million this year. Uganda is also hoping its neighbors will pressure for peace in South Sudan to stem the flow of refugees. Because this relief mission is so stretched now, it must soon snap. Sony Methu, CGTN, Uganda.